In this video, I'm going to transform the mobs into prehistoric creatures. And since they can't roam freely on the map, I'll create a special habitat for each of them. I'm in this village, and the first mob I'm going to choose to transform will be the cow. Here's the model of the cow, and I'm going to turn it into a mammoth. The first thing I have to do is erase all its parts. Now, I'll start by making the leg. I create the foot and enlarge this cube. Now, I'll have to repeat this on the other side. So, I make the foot and enlarge this cube. In the front part, I'll have to do the same thing, but the cube will be a little bigger. This cube will be almost double the size of the other one. And now, duplicate it to the other side. We need to create its body and head. That's why I'm going to stretch this cube, make another one diagonally, and another one higher up. Now it's starting to take on the mammoth shape. I enlarge the cube to create the head, make a smaller cube on top, and add the trunk. To complete the model, I need to make its two tusks. I add these, copy the other side. After creating the texture, this is how our mammoth looks. Man, this is incredible. Look at how realistic it is, not to mention the animation when it's standing still. This one is for when it's walking and attacking. Before adding the mammoth to Minecraft, I need to create a habitat to keep it contained, as it can attack the other mobs in the game. That's why I'll start by marking where I'm going to build its habitat, since it's a very large mob. It needs a spacious area, and after researching online, I found out that some mammoths lived in frozen areas. That's why I'm here in the snow biome, as I'll need a lot of compacted ice and snow. Collect compacted ice, gather snow, and I'll need some of this wood too, but it needs to be stripped. Before building, the first thing I have to do is level the terrain. After making the terrain flat, I'll spread a layer of snow across this area to protect the mammoth inside. I'm going to create an enclosure. Basically, this enclosure will ensure that the mammoth doesn't an escape and no outside mobs get in. I left the top irregular to resemble tree trunks embedded in the ground. I left the front area open so I can fill it with glass panels. Now, anyone passing by the front will be able to see inside. I took the opportunity to add some ice decorations and even a house for it to sleep in. Oh my god, come! What a heavy animal, man! Our mammoth won't be alone in here! I also brought its companion! Look at this! Look at the size of these animals! Man, they're huge! They're wall-sized! I think I should close this up before they try to escape. Let me tell you, this turned out really well. Look at the little mammoths inside! Check out the view from outside, man. It looks great. But this is just the first one. Now we need to choose another mob, and that's why I'm at the beach, because it's going to be the turtle. Wait, turtle, a strong no. Don't run, man. Here's the model of the turtle, and I'm going to turn it into a megalania. So, I need to delete all the parts. I'll start by making the belly. This will be the neck, and on the other side, it will be the beginning of the tail. To make the tail, I'll add several cubes, one smaller than the other, until it becomes very thin at the end. Now I'll start with the head. This will be the mouth, and this piece above will be the teeth. I'll do the same thing for the upper part. As you can see, it's by body looks like that of a crocodile because this species is like a type of lizard. You can see it's missing the legs. So, I'll add one diagonally, another down here, and a paw. I'll duplicate it to the other side. I'll make the hind leg, create a cube, make the paw, duplicate it to the other side. This is its texture, and it looks really cool. These details on its back, even the underside. The animation also looks great. This is it standing still, this is it walking in Minecraft, and this one is it attacking. Now, I need to decide where to create a Megalania habitat. Looking from above, I think it's interesting to do it exactly in this area. So, let's mark all of this. And since it's a smaller animal than the mammoth, its habitat doesn't need to be as large. I marked it, and this size is perfect. Unlike before, where I collected resources first, I'll level the terrain first. Now I need to decide which blocks to use in this habitat. I found some images online and noticed that there were small shrubs and even some dried ones in the vegetation. This biome I'm in is the perfect place to find this packed dirt. It looks a lot like the one in the picture I found. I think I can use some podzol. I'll need some of these dried shrubs because they'll be essential for our construction. The only thing left is to gather some leaves and acacia wood. Remember, it can't be regular wood, it has to be stripped. The idea is to cover the ground with this coarse dirt. Now, for the podzol part, it was a bit tricky, since I couldn't place all the blocks at once. I had to break everything randomly first, and then go back and fill it in with podzol. After finishing the habitat, it looks like this. Look how nice it is. And after finishing the habitat, this is how it turned out. I built a wall with glass panels and took the opportunity to place the pair of megalania inside here. This looks incredible as I've added some plants here, this bush, and even this spot for them to drink water. Without a doubt, when someone passes by here, they will have a very beautiful view. If you look to the left, you'll see the mammoths, and if you look to the right, you'll see these megalania. And now, the next mob I'm going to transform will be an ocelot. It doesn't catch fire! I have the ocelot model, and I'm going to turn it into a smilodon. So I select all these cubes and delete them. I'm going to start by making the paw. A piece for the leg, another piece, and one more. I duplicate it for the other side. I create the hind paw, make this cube, another larger cube, one even larger, and then I duplicate it. Now I have the four legs here. I have to make the rest of the body. I increase this cube make another one, and one more, I added a tail to it. Now I'm going to make the head, but for that, I'll need a neck, a piece for the head, an ear, and I'll duplicate it for the other side. Here will be the bottom part of the mouth, and this upper part creates the tooth, and I repeat it on the other side. Now, it's just about texturing, and this is how it turned out, man! Look how cool! I took some references from the internet. Some had these spots, and others didn't. So I decided to combine everything, and it turned out like this. I hope it looks somewhat similar. I managed to make this animation for when it's standing still. This one here will be at walking, and this other one will be 
be an attacking. To create the Smilodon's habitat, I'm going to gather some bamboo. I'll also collect a bit of wood. Another thing I'll need a lot of is glass, so I'll get some sand and cactus. Now I'll put sand in the furnace, make green glass, and turn it into panels. I'll mark the location where the Smilodon habitat will be. There will be a lot of glass, so I'm marking this area. First, it'll be here on this side. I also want to mark this other part. To speed things up, I've already started making the entire wall. I built the enclosure and even decorated the middle. Now I'll plant some bamboo where there's no glass and some grass as well. But to make it perfect, I'll plant a tree up here. It will be one of those two by two trees, but quite small. I planted another one here as well. It looks a bit strange, but it will be like this. Now it's just about bringing in the pair of Smilodons. Come over here. Look how cool this is, man. This model turned out very cute. And without a doubt, this is the perfect habitat for them. They can play a bit on the tree and even take a dip in this pond. Our small zoo of historic animals is growing. And now I'm going to transform the next mob, which will be the chicken. All right, I have the chicken model now, and I'm going to turn it into a forest racity. As you already know, I'm going to erase all its parts, and I'll start by creating the leg. I add the toes, make a part of the lower leg, another part, and this will be the thigh. I duplicate it for the other side. Let's start making the body. I create this cube, make this one diagonally, another one, and to make it look nice, I add another one here. The back part should not be straight to make it look more natural. I'm going to shape it like this. As you can see, it has very small wings, so I'll add a cube here, extend it, and create another like this. I duplicate it for the other side. I stretch this cube to create the neck. This will be the start of the head, so I create it like this, add the top part of the beak, and the bottom part. It has some feathers on the head and at the back, so I'll add several little leaves to texture later. I place them on the back as well. After texturing, it will look like this. Look how realistic it turned out. I put a photo on the side for you to see the comparison, and this looks really good. I don't know how this animal moves, but this is how I made it in a stationary pose, like this for walking, and like this for attacking. To not waste time, I've already prepared this habitat, and look how beautiful it turned out. I planted some mangrove trees. I was actually very inspired by the new biome in Minecraft. I made all this ground with mud and even replanted these dead shrubs. Now I'm going to bring these two buddies into their habitat. I think I made the entrance too small. It's better to break this wall. Perfect. Can it fit through? Now I'm going to close this and release their leashes. Honestly, this looks really good. Let me bring them a little closer here. Perfect. And this other one too, buddy? Because you like to stay in the corners, right? I just think I could have made this habitat a bit larger, but I can always expand it later. And now let's transform the last mob, which will be the villager. Here's the model of the villager. And wait, if you didn't know what he wore under his clothes, it's this. But I'm going to transform this villager into a caveman. And as you already know, I'll select everything and erase it. I'll start by making a leg, make the other one a larger cube because this will be his clothing and an even larger cube. Now create an arm, the other one as well. And in this hand, I'm going to make a club. So extend this cube, create the back part. Now extend it a bit more, extend here as well. And to give the final touch, just do this. And the caveman is almost ready. Now I need to create the head, make a cube like this and another slightly larger one because this will be the beard. Add the nose, ears, and also the eyebrow. I added several cubes because this will be the hair as they didn't have a way to cut it back then. I'll do the same for the beard. The model is practically done, and after texturing, it will look like this. Man, it looks really cool. Look at all the details I added to this model. Without a doubt, this is the best one. Comment down below which model you find more beautiful. If you liked the model and the texture, you haven't seen it in action yet. Here it is walking, and the best of all, attacking. Look how cool. The movement is perfect. Now let's see how this looks in Minecraft. And now I'm going to place a bed here. Another one beside it. Outside, I'll place this campfire, and I'll put these wooden logs as if they were a camp bench. I just need to bring them in here. Come here, both of you. The other one too. Now close this, and you're free. Well, maybe free isn't exactly the word I meant to say. But now, yes, I finished transforming the mobs into prehistoric creatures and have a habitat for each of them. Feel free to watch the video that's appearing on the screen.